watching a let's play by Random Blastoise. Sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, Random Blastoise here with part 5 of Let's Play Chicken Run. Last time we did our first mission with Nick and Fetcher. And we collected the gears, the tools and the oil can right under Mr. Tweedy's nose. Now this is going to be our second mission with them. It's not as hard as last time, but this one is quite hard. Thankfully we don't have to deal with Mr. Tweedy anymore. So that's one thing I can relax about. Oh, thought I was going to miss there. I might be able to get a silver medal. I think I'll get like 10 eggs or something. Oh god. Oh well. At least I got six eggs. Or seven, to be honest. Bronze medal again. Hopefully we'll be luckier next time. So we're going to go out the same hole we went out yesterday. Or well, in the last part, rather. And we're going to go to the farmhouse where we got the boots from Ainat One. And also the cord and the um, tennis racket in Act 2. God, I hate these dogs. Watch out for Mr. Tweedy again. He's right there. As I said before. There he is. He's gonna make our way, make his way, sorry, to where we're gonna go. But we've got well ahead of him. So Nick and Fetcher are hanging around in the Tweedy's kitchen. How'd they get in there without being seen? I think I might need to stock up on sprouts too. Because I think I'm running out of sprouts. Oh god. That was a really close one. I could have woken up that dog. Could have. I think I already have. Oh, that was really close. Really close. Flipping heck. Look at this list, Fetcher. I'm looking, Nick. I'm looking. This is dangerous work, miss, and no mistake. Dangerous or not, can you help us? Of course, if we're risking our tails and whiskers for you, love. Oh dear, I don't like the sound of this. We'll need at least six eggs. More like ten for this one, wouldn't you say, Fetcher? Ten? I'll give you six eggs now and no more. All right, miss. After you, Fetcher. After I want... Bring everything back here. We haven't mine. Yeah, you tell him, Ginger. Yeah, Nick and Fetcher can be a bit greedy sometimes. So we use Nick to push this stall over here. There are two items to collect in this room and two in the living room. You might have seen the garden gnome in the corner. We'll come to that in a minute. Get Fetcher on here. Yeah, like I said last time, Nick and Fetcher have their own strengths and weaknesses. Nick can push stuff and Fetcher can double jump. And over here is the laundry. We're going to use this gnome quite a lot as well, so we'll swi switch back to Nick, sorry. And equip. Yeah, the gnome works the same way as the boots did in Act 1. There's a dog standing guard. And then we'll have Fetcher hold on to this side of the curtain. Ready Nick? Jump! And there is the binoculars. The hard bit is getting the yarn. I guess you could try jumping onto that chair, but it might take a while. Oh, got to be careful not to fall down like I just did. Except I got lucky and didn't get seen by the dog. Yeah, that dog is pretty scary. Not as scary as Mrs. Tweedy, though. So Fetcher gets the main action in this mission. 
Nick has only really needed to jump and pull on that curtain. I think Nick is meant to be the smart one and Fletcher is meant to be the stupid one in this team. Bonus picture. And there's our yarn. Simple enough. This mission's actually easier than I thought. Because I said before, I haven't played this game in a long time. Take this to Ginger. Where is she? There she is. We're back. And we've got the lot. All of it? Yes, miss. Laundry, twine. And a lovely pair of these things. They're binoculars, you Nancy. Well done, both of you. That's all right, love. You can rely on us. Once we've got some eggs inside us. I love them. Thanks. Indeed. So we're going to take these back when I find out where to take them to. Oh yes, sprouts. We need these. Seven teams, think that's enough? Well, there's no other sprouts around, so I guess we have to do for now. Still haven't got anything for the wings yet. That's in the other mission with Nick and Fetcher. Right. So the yarn and laundry go to Hut 11 and Lockner's binoculars, sorry, go to 10. Right. If, if you remember, Hut 11 is in compartment C where Mr. Tweedy is. So we've got to be extra careful. We're going to save our game again when we get back into A. I hope my computer doesn't crash again like it did yesterday when I recorded. Hmm. Not sure if the coast actually is clear. Nope. Right, should I waste my sprouts or save them? I think it's better to wait, let them go. Them, as in Mr. Tweed and the dog, not the sprouts. Go on, move, move, move. Right, they're gone. Always beware of that searchlight too. Yeah, this was done pretty quickly. Yeah, move. I'm tired of your crap, dogs. Right, so we're going to save our game. It's only been eight minutes, so I might do the other mission with Nick and Fetcher. Particularly as it's the easiest of the three. But then again, that might lead to doing some mini games. I don't know. Right, so that's our stuff safe for now. So if I ever do get caught, I'll just reset at this point. Yeah, I'm glad I saved the game there because my computer crashed. So, perfect timing. In compartment D we have huts 7, 8, 9 and 10. And 10 is where we take our stuff to. Not much in the other huts and 7 I think is boarded up. There you are. I hope this will help it along. Fantastic! I only need one more item now. I know. Those wretched rats keep asking for more eggs. If only we could manage without them. Well, if Rocky was still around, but... Yeah, you know. Let's see what's in huts 8 and 9. Pretty much nothing in compartment D. There's only one dog as well. 
all the others have two dogs, or in the case of C, Mr. Tweedy and a dog. What's in eight? Sprouts, which we'll most likely need. And a piece of the map. We've only got two more pieces left to collect now. Not sure if I'll find them. Got some more stuff to take to see. That was close. Well, this is just what you need. Great stuff. Only one more to get. Keep working. I'll be back soon. So we're going to do the final mission in Nick and Fetcher now because it's fairly easy. We'll do the mini games in the next part, which most likely be the final part. We'll go the short way round because there's more dogs and stuff. More dogs if you go the long way, sorry. Right. Our final time playing the egg collecting game. Unless we get caught, that is. Can we get a silver or gold medal this time? It'll be nice. Our record is eight, we're going to try and get nine. Come on, we can do this, we can do this. Come on. Nine, no, yeah, we got nine. And we got a silver medal. Nice work there, my lad. I shall give you this well-deserved silver medal. Thanks, Fowler. Make a change from those bronze medals we got. That's probably the only silver medal we're ever going to get. But it's better than nothing. Right, so now we're going to go into B. Where we're going to go for the final Nick and Fetcher mission. Where is that hole that we dug? I can never find these holes. I think it's over here. Better watch out too because Mr. Tweedy's on the other side. He seems to teleport. Yeah, I think he was behind us there. More sprouts over here. And we go through this pipe again. We don't need to go all the way to the end like we did with Rocky. Just through that crack in the door. Beware of the dog. Oh, come on! God's sake. You're really starting to get on my nerves. I hate these dogs. Right, hopefully we'll be lucky this time. Move. Right, go through here. This leads to the sewers. There's a plank of wood which we can't pick up just yet because we've got too much. So we go down here and being rats, it's only logical for Nick and Fetcher to be in the sewers. Nice place to hide though, isn't it? Are you sure you need all this? Poles, chain, and an engine. It could be an impossible mission. But you have to accept it. How much is it worth? I'll pay you two eggs. Oh, yes, please. Be quiet, Fetcher. Eight eggs. Six, that's my final offer. Done. Lovely. Six eggs. Here you are. Oh, please, hurry.
Right, this is the easiest mission, mainly because there's nobody around to catch you. Poles over here. Now watch what I do. Get Nick up here for now. Switch to fetcher. I think this is what you do. Isn't it? I might be doing this wrong. Then again, this is out of memory. And the tractor is going mental. See? That's not the engine off. I hope Mr and Mrs Tweedy didn't hear that. Don't worry about the engine because the chickens already collected it. But we've got all we, for ne all we need for now, so we go back to Ginger. Totally sorted. Totally. What? You got it all? Yes, and your engine's waiting for you. Just where you need. All part of the service, my love. We'll soon be out of here. Of course you will, miss. Birds of a feather flop together. Be quiet, you Norbert. I know that it cost us a lot of eggs, but it was worth it. Thanks, both of you. Well, their work here is done, unless we get caught, of course. We have to start again. The only item to get now is the wood. Now, we're not going to take anything back now, but we are going to go back into A. We're going to take our stuff back in the next part, which most might be the final part, like I said. There's still a dog around here. Right. Wait for him to go. Come on, move yourself. I've got plenty of time, but... Still. Cut me a break. Okay. Still got Mr. Tweedy to get past. I hate the camera sometimes in this game too. I think that's Mr. Tweedy, yes. He also, when we get there, see that hole? He walks right over it. You think you might have noticed, but still. Actually, while we're here, we'll take the stuff in Hut 15. Oh, no, no, actually, no. I don't want to play mini game right now. I think I've done enough for the most part. Let's see, wrong way. Right, so we're going to save our game and. Hopefully we should make it. Two. One. Yes, we have made it. So I shall see you in the next part for the mini games. And yep, that's it for now. I shall see you in part six. Goodbye.